Let's start with our first topic, which is I am users and the roles. And these are the basic building block, irrespective of whatever certification you are targeting. So first thing I would always recommend you to learn is the I am roles and the users. So what's the first thing which we are going to learn inside the I am roles and the user? So first thing is that you need to do the sign up for your AWS account. So this is a user and you need to perform a sign up. If you are, if you have not created any AWS account before, then in that case you need to do the sign up okay so once you create a sign up then you will be able to access the aws console so let's take a look on how to do the sign up for our aws account so here is my aws console or aws uh, registration page or you can just go on uh, browser and just type the aws amazon.com and here on the top right corner you will find the option for a complete sign up so just click on it and here, this is the sign-in page. If you are an existing user, then you can just perform the sign-in. But if you are a new user, then just click on create new AWS account. And here, this is the simple sign-up page. And I would assume that you will be able to do the sign-up. You just need to fill in some primary details like uh, your email ID, your account name, and then you need to verify your email address. And it will send you a verification email. And after that, you will be able to sign up for your AWS account. And remember, if you are doing it for the first time, then there are some free credits which is assigned for you for a first year so that you can reuse, uh, you can use those credits for uh, learning the AWS. And also, uh, once you consume those AWS credits, then you need to attach your credit card or debit card so that you can still learn and consume those AWS services. So just choose whatever option which is available for you. If you have already signed up, then uh, you might have consumed some of your credit. And if you're doing it for the first time then you will have some free credits for your first year of aws services but don't worry we are just going to keep everything minimum if you have already exhausted your credit limit so we will just keep bare minimum things so that it doesn't cost you much while learning and using this aws uh, tutorials and examples all right so now i'm assuming that you have already created an aws account and now you can just go to the sign in page so this is the aws account and once you create a new aws account then you will be a root user for that aws account so here you can see this is the root user option i have selected and this is the uh, email id through which i have already registered myself so i'm just click on next over here and i have already saved my password into my browser so i don't need to enter it and then click on sign in and once you sign in into your AWS account, then you will see this is the console or AWS console, which is a home page for your AWS account. Here few are the things which you need to verify after uh, signing into your AWS account. First of all is the region. So whatever the region where you want to work. So just select that particular region. I'm just going to explain those things later. But there are various data centers from AWS and based on your geographical location, just choose whatever the nearest for you. If you are in the Asia region, then just select some specific Asia data center or region from AWS. Since I'm in Europe, so I'm just going to stick with the Europe Stockholm because I'm based out of Stockholm. Second, uh, on the right hand side, you will see a quite a lot of options, which is your root account details. So if you go on, click on account, then you will find all the details of your root account because this is the root account you have through which you have just do, did the sign up. And here are a few are the things which you need to just go and take a look because these are nothing you need to worry about uh, apart from the billing section because you just need to attach your credit card later if you have consumed your credit limits. Uh, so yeah, this is this kind of a, a AWS console you will get once you do the sign up. Okay, great. Now you have done your first step and you have performed the sign up and now you are having an AWS account with you. Then what is next? So the next thing which I'm going to talk about is the command line interface access for your AWS account. So AWS not only provides you the GUI, but it also provides you a command line interface so that you can access the same services from your command line using the AWS CLI. And here CLI stand for command line interface. So here, uh, the next thing which I'm just going to show to you is how you can use the uh, AWS CLI or the AWS credential and the credential which I'm talking about is the AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. So these are the two credential which you need to use to access your AWS services from your command line interface. So let's go back to our AWS console and see from where we can get these credentials. 
All right, so this is my AWS uh, console homepage and on the right hand side top corner, you will find uh, your root account details. So just click on that button and here you will find the option for a security credential. So just click on it. And here you will find the way to access your AWS access key and the secret key details. So here in this section, you will find few of your details like account details, your account name, your email ID, but we are interested into our access key and the secret key. So here you can see, uh, here are couple of access key which I have generated in the past, but in case you can generate the new access key here as well, which I'm just going to show to you. As you can see over here, the create access key button is disabled for me because I have a couple of access key which I have already created. So I'm just going to delete some of the old ones. So here you can see this is the key which is I have used like a 572 days before. So I'm just going to select that one, go to action and I'm just going to delete that one. Uh, first of all, I need to deactivate it. And then after that, I just need to delete. So I'm just going to copy it. It will ask for confirmation and then just click on delete. So now I have deleted that particular key. And after that, I can see that uh, option is enabled for me. But if you are doing it for the first time, then this option will be enabled for you by default. All right. So just click on create access key over here and it will ask that root user access uh, keys are not recommended because this is a root user. And if you are just trying to create the access key for your root account then just be careful but don't worry we are just going to cover the root user and i am user later into this chapter so just keep the focus on creating the access key and the secret access key so that's the part i am interested in to show to you okay so select that option as of now and create access key and here you can see the access key and the secret is uh, uh, created for you. And this is a root user access key and secret key. So ideally what AWS recommends is you just create the access key and secret key for root user once. And after that, you should not create a multiple access key and secret key for your root account. But this is the first time I'm assuming that you are just signing, signing up for your AWS account. And this is the first time you're accessing it. That's why this is the way you should do it. Okay. All right. So this is the way you should generate the access key and secret access key. And after that, you can, I, I'm not just, just going to click on show over here because it will just show the uh, secret access key, but you can just make a copy of it somewhere secure, somewhere in the vault or somewhere in your password manager. So this is the way you should create your access key and the secret access key for command line access to your AWS services. Let's take a look onto the slide once again. So we have done the sign up as well as we have seen like how we can get the AWS credential for our command line interface access. Later on, we are I'm just going to show to you like how you can use the AWS CLI as well to use those credential to access your AWS services. But as of now, we have done the sign up. We are able to access our AWS console and we are also able to access our credential from AWS.